Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more Python programming. Still looking at the PyEnchant module, just enchant when we actually import the module. And uh, last video we were looking at how we can install the module, first of all, super easy on Linux, just pip install, and then uh, creating and using dictionary objects. We only got into creating in the last tutorial. I got I had idle open up, we were looking at different dictionaries that we could use, and now we'll actually go ahead and use them. So, this function check when we've got our dictionary object, we'll actually test if a word is in that dictionary. So if I were to uh, d dot check, if I can check for the word Python, it is in there. Now if I check for the word uh, pi, py, referring to Python, false. That's not a word. Okay. So what else can we do with it? Another another uh, function they mentioned over here is uh, d dot suggest, and what that will do is it will actually uh, get a suggestions for a misspelled word. Like, if you were typing in Google or something, and you realize it, it, Google realized you had a typo, and it'll try and recommend, is this what you meant? This kind of has a, a similar functionality. So if I do a D dot suggest for the word pi, or py for Python, it'll say, oh, pt, did you mean py, or spy, or pay, pry, ply, lots, lots of these other suggestions that it might have, that you might have meant. And it'll just try and guess there. So other functions that I want to show off in this quick and easy tutorial are add, remove, add to session, store replacement, and uh, a bunch of other stuff. So once a correction is made to a misspelled word, it's often useful to store this correction in some way for later use. Now the dictionary object provides several methods to be able to do this. So add, it'll store an unrecognized word in the user's personal dictionary so it is recognized as cor correct in the future. So if I were to d dot add you can see it adds a word to the user's personal word list if i say pi cool nothing is returned to us but now if i check does pi exist oh yeah it totally does of course no worries you're not insane don't worry about it <laughs> now if i were to remove that of course it'll store that word in its personal exclude list so that is identified as an error in the future like d dot remove pi now, if I d dot check pi, hey, it's gone. Now, it's saying that this stores a recognized word in the user's personal excluded list. So, if we had a word that, oh yeah, we obviously know exists, like um, subscribe, <laughs> and if we remove that, now if I check that, no, it doesn't. It doesn't exist. Now, if I try and remove it again, we still don't get any errors. So that works just fine for us. It doesn't matter when or how many times we actually remove a word, as long as it's out of the list, that's okay. Now here's an interesting thing. What if I restart? What if I control F6, my Python shell, import enchant, and um, let's say, take a look here. D is going to equal our enchant.dict object, not going to supply a tag. I can check, does our subscribe word exist? And no, it does not. How about pi? We actually, okay, did we did we remove that one? Yeah, we did remove pi. So I'll do that one more time. D dot add pi, so we can visualize it. Now pi does exist in the dictionary, and if I restart, do it all over again. D dot check pi, it still exists. Normally it wouldn't have existed had we not added it to the dictionary, but since it's part of my user's include words list or personal word list, now it's okay. Cool? So this is an interesting thing because add and remove are kind of permanent in that dictionary object, in that dictionary. Add to session, this one is only a temporary thing. So we can store an unrecognized word so it'll be recognized as correct while this dictionary object is still in use. So during this session, while we are working with enchant in the dictionary at this time. So let's d dot remove our pi word. Now, of course, d dot check, it's not there. But if I d add to session pi, d dot check, does pi exist? Yes, it does. Now if I restart, do it all over again, import, enchant, magic, goodness, beautiful, magnificent, gorgeous, d, and 
chant dicks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, and then now if we check does pi exist, it'll tell me no. Because pi, when we added it, we only added it to that last previous session. So now when we go back to our dictionary, it still does not exist. What did we do with subscribe? How is subscribe doing? Does subscribe school exist? No, it doesn't. Let's add it back in, because I know that is obviously a real word. <laughs> Alright, cool. Now here's another function. Store replacement. Note that one word was used to replace another, meaning that it will be appear higher in the list of suggestions in the future. Okay, so that works with our suggest function. Again, if you have any uh, misspelled words, it'll return um, a, a possible option for what you could have meant. It'll try and guess what did you really mean to type in here. Okay, I think there's another one. I'll actually, yeah, there is, of course, a remove from session. I'm surprised I didn't include that in the documentation here. But um, since we added, let's add to session pi, t.check for, uh, oh, sorry. Now pi does exist in this session only temporarily, but of course we can remove it if we want to with our remove session from session. Pi. And now it's gone. Okay, so super simple, super easy. Really the core functions that you want to be using here are check to see if you actually have a word in the dictionary. So this is kind of interesting for if you're trying to check for real English words. Like, obviously this is not a real English word, but something like apple may be, or something like a poll, may not be. You may have had a typo. You may have incorrectly done through your spell check stuff. So, okay. That's all that I really wanted to show you in this tutorial. Simple functions for checking if you've got a word in your, in your English language dictionary, suggesting other suggestions, and then adding words to sessions and stuff like that. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. You're probably already at the core of this language, uh, of this module, sorry, so you don't have to do a whole lot more. The rest of the learning is just for interesting stuff and what more can you do with this module. But I think check and suggest are probably the most, uh, probably most useful functions that this, uh, that this module allow and give to you. So, thanks again for watching, though. I'll see you later.